Hey! All right, well, this is uh, World Cup Day 9. I apologize for not getting it out yesterday and all that and stuff and a little behind. But, hey, it was Father's Day. I had to go out and see my dad. You know, he had to go to his grave site and, you know, give him his props and everything like that. Say, thank you for uh, donating stuff to bring me into this world. <laughs> all right. In Day 9, uh, the first one we had was Netherlands beating Japan. Uh, 1 0, Auto almost automatically ensuring their advancement into the next round. They were set up to do this, and all they needed was a Cameroon Denmark tie. So, based on that, a tie or a Cameroon win, pretty much, or something like that. Anyway, uh, Netherlands controlled this game completely and almost from the offset. 66% to 34% is as far as like uh, time controlled. And possession. And Wesley Snyder scored the only goal in the 53rd minute. Um, um, Kaite, or Kite, Kite, uh, you know, almost had a high, highlight reel bicycle kick that went, but he got uh, in the 10th minute, but Naz Nazawa, Nakazawa <sighs> uh, headed the effort clear. So, you know, that's 10 straight World Cup qualifiers and finals match victories um, for the Netherlands. 10 in a row. So they're, they're pretty much in. You know, and that's, that's all they had to take this win. They should, should have taken this win. They're the fourth ranked uh, country coming into this. And they look strong, even though they've only, they've only scored two goals. One of them was an own goal on, on Denmark, on the Danes there. So they got theirs in a Dutch advance. Uh, this next one was Ghana, Australia. Australia actually surprising getting this. Uh, the fact that they even wound up with a tie was kind of shocking, seeing as how they lost a man in the 26th minute. Or in the 24th minute, Kewell, um gets ejected. Automatic red card. They said he blocked the shot. Now, it hit off his upper arm. It did hit off his upper arm. But, I mean, when you start talking about that, uh, Mens Mensa? Mensa? Blast the shot. And it's not like he was able to just dive out of the way and get out of the way. It hits him. You know, it sets up the penalty kick, which is what they score off of. Uh, Guy M, you know, converts the penalty kick. Second time he's done it in the World Cup. And that's both his goals are off penalty kicks. And, you know, I mean, Brett Holman, uh, you know, it's, it's just rough. You know, when you, when you look at it, uh, Brett Holman opened up the scoring by hitting a bobbled deflection off the goalie, Richard Kingston. Uh, and that was off a free kick by Bresciano. Now, Australians showing great resiliency in this, coming back after that 4-0 beating that they suffered from Germany. So, looking in this, I mean, this World Cup is blown wide open. I mean, there's, it, any team that's, that's advancing has a legitimate shot at winning. There's no teams that are going to make it through. Eh, well, maybe, maybe, anyway. Actually have a shot at doing this. Now, Ghana shot Australia, uh, Australia, 24-9. In this, in Australia, basically played this game a man down two thirds of the game. So when you think about that, I mean, it's it's it was Ghana's chance to win. They had multiple shots on goal, but they just could not pull the trigger. Mark Schwartzer, great job, uh, great job there, buddy. You know that's the goalie for uh, Australia. They, they pulled the kangaroo and, and, and decided to give Schwartz another try. And he, he you know, was kind of pulling this together in Australia getting the point. A little more than they expected to get. And this one, uh, the third game, Denmark upset Cameroon. 2-1. And even though Cameroon outshot Denmark 24-13, or 23-13, uh, Denmark... Uh, sent Cameroon home early with this win and because they beat Cameroon they're sending the Netherlands or the Dutch Dutch and Danes I don't know how you I, I don't understand how they anyway 
uh, they're sending the Dutch's uh, the Dutch forward. They 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 will advance into the uh, elite sixteen or however you call it, the final sixteen um, and get there. Now the game was rough for both of them. This was uh, there, there's been so many games where you're just like I've, I've, uh, you know they, they just don't have it. And in this one, you know Paulson, you know he's he I don't know what he was thinking when he kicked the pass. But it definitely wasn't going to make it to the guy. It was intercepted by Weibo. And Weibo finds an unguarded Etul. He's wide open. Nobody near him. Hammers this shot. And um, Sorensen never stood a chance. Man. And that's the thing you're seeing on a lot of these. These poor goalies are just like left on an absolute island. And they're getting just hammered when the defenses decide, hell oh, yeah, we're going to take it easy and just F off for a while. You can't do that, man. I mean, the goal, you got to contest the shot a little bit to give the goalie a chance. You know, that ball flying in, you know. Anyway, uh, you know, the Danes even it up with a uh, Bentner uh, tap in off a nice cross from Romandal in the 33rd minute. Uh, and then uh, Denmark, you know, they took the lead for good when Romandal said, hey, you know, I'm going to do this myself. You know, and he goes in and he blows by Minkau and uh, blasts a shot past Soyamanu in the 61st minute. Names are wonderful, aren't they? I love all the different names and pronunciations and attempts that I get to do. <laughs> it's not like Green versus Ward. You know, that's nice and easy, man. Or Gotti versus Ward. Or, you know, Pacquiao. You know, Pacquiao versus Cotto. Oh, those are nice. These names, not, not so nice. <laughs> anyway, uh, Cameroon uh, had numerous chances by shots from Ito that hit the post. Imana blowing away everybody only to shoot it right at Sorensen. So, I mean, Cameroon had the opportunities. They just couldn't close the deal. And they were favored in this. And they, sh they were thought that they were going to advance along with the Netherlands. Now, Denmark has a great shot at advancing. So, we'll see how this pulls up. Cameroon said they're going to play the Netherlands hard and they're going to do it for pride and whatever stuff, you know, we'll see how that goes. Right? Well, hey, it's the end of uh, day nine and I'll hurry up and cut day ten. That way I can kind of get caught up and stuff. All right. Well, hey, it's Big Ragu. I'm out.